Hi again, Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In recent years, some wonderful things have happened for the industry we know as web design. And one of those wonderful things is the advent of something called Creative Commons licensing. Well, what that does is that provides people who build websites like you and me access to millions of stock photos that we can legally use on things like the websites we're building, free stock photos. It wasn't too long ago where it was really difficult to get good photographs and images for your website without having to pay royalty fees or without having to pay, you know, just expensive per image fees or membership fees to get these things. But someone at one point decided to create a repository of photos that artists are willing to share with the world to get their work out there. And so now we have these websites that provide wonderful free stock photos that are based on a Creative Commons licensing. If you want to know more about Creative Commons licensing, you can go to one of these websites I'm about to show you and click on the license terms and you'll see how wonderful this is. And of course, as time has moved on, we have even more of these websites and more images to choose from. It's really quite good. Now, while there are a bunch of these, and I think off the top of my head one time I could find, you know, just 12 or 13 of these websites, uh, my three favorite ones I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to show you some even better news of how it pertains to 90 Second Website Builder. I'm at a website called pexels.com. This is a great one, and I notice now they even provide a free stock video, which is great. If you go to pexels.com, you can see, you can search for images and photographs and find something that you might need. They're just great quality. You just type in a search term. Another one is Pixabay. I've used this probably more often than any of the others. I really like Pixabay. There's just a lot of artists here, and now they're at over a million stock images. It's just uh, really good stuff. And you may be wondering why people do this, and I think it's because these photographers are maybe up-and-coming artists and they want to get their work out there, or maybe they're just generous people. I'm not sure how all that works. But if you were to go to a place like iStockPhoto, you might find more professional photographs, but they're expensive and you have to actually, you know, pay to use them. So here you can get some really decent work that you can use on your website without paying for it. And then a third one I like to use is called Unsplash, which is right here, unsplash.com. Very similar to, uh, I think, the other two, but just another collection of even more images. Now, what's unique about Unsplash is 90 Second Website Builder now has a feature built into it that allows you to access the Unsplash database right inside the software. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to move this off the screen and we're going to go into 90 second website builder and in the latest version you may have bumped into this if you're using it where you can be uh, working with an image this is an image I've just put on the canvas here let me move the camera a little bit so you can get some perspective and some context of where we are here so I put an image on the canvas if you double click on it you can see there's the path to my image but you'll also notice they have this little icon right here next to the image path. I'm going to hover over it so you can see what happens. I can literally click this button and select an unsplash photo. And what will happen is a window will come up. It will give me some random selections from unsplash and give me a search bar so I can start looking for an image that I might want to use from the unsplash database without actually going to the website. Now, there is a catch to this, and this is the important part of this video. When you, you notice, I haven't clicked this button yet, and there's a reason for that. You may notice that when you click this button, it doesn't work. Well, this is not because the software is broken, and it's not even because there's anything wrong with your website. When you click this button and you get an error message, and it's kind of a cryptic error message because it's going to be your Windows operating system saying, uh-oh, we can't do this right, not, not connecting to the server, or whatever it says. The reason for that is whenever you connect to the Unsplash database through an application that's running on your computer, in other words, you're not just going to a website, you're going to their server through a piece of software. And whenever you do that, you're going to go through sort of a bottleneck. You're going to go to a server where there's only so many people can get to it at one time. And so it may just, it's not a crash, but it's just kind of a, a blockage. And so for the most part, you can click on this and that will come right up. But times of heavy traffic, which I think there is right now, it might not work. So if I was to click on this, we might get that error message. Let's see if we do. I think we will. 
maybe we're getting it, maybe we're not. A few minutes ago when I clicked on this, I got the error message. And so maybe it's going to work now, but it is moving a little bit slow. So you see it's trying to find photos and it's not finding any, and that may happen. I think we might have to let it sit. But what I want to tell you is if this doesn't load with any images or if we get an error message, then there is a great workaround that will allow you to get access pretty much every time. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to close out of this. Looks like the traffic has calmed down a little bit, but it's still a little bit busy. And here's what you need to do to make this work. So let's close out of this all together. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Unsplash website and get an account. It's super easy. It's free. All you need is to create a username and, and password. I think just your email address and a password will get you an account. Once you have an account, this is what you need to do. And this is a little bit special. You're going to want to go to this web address, unsplash.com forward slash O-A-U-T-H, like O-Auth, as in O authorization, slash applications. Okay, unsplash.com slash OAuth slash applications. That page is going to take you to the page I'm at right now. And we're going to do a couple things. We're going to tell them in so many words, hey, Unsplash, I really want to connect to your database and use your images, but I want to go through a program running on my computer. So please give me a key. We're looking for what's called an API key to do that. If you don't do that, if you just go straight through like we did here and you click this button, you're not going through your own account. You're going through more of a shared account and the traffic can get bogged down. And like I said, we could get an error message or it would just be really slow. So that's what we're trying to work around. But by going to Unsplash and telling them we want a key, you can get in almost every time. You have way, way more space, we'll say. Okay, and here's how that works. And I'm going to do this on this video and show you the actual steps. I'm going to click on New Application and they want me to agree to these guidelines. I'm promised to not do bad things or whatever these say, you're gonna to wanna to read this. Make sure that my access key and my secret key is confidential. That means I'm not gonna be able to show you mine in this video, I have to hide it from you. I'll blur that out if I have to. But anyway, I'm asking them for permission to, to access their database in a convenient way. And there's, there's all the terms here. I'm gonna have you read those. I'm not gonna do it in this video because that would be incredibly boring. And then once we agree to those, just like you would expect, we accept the terms. I'm going to call it something. I don't think it matters what you call it, but they're going to want to know maybe. And I'm going to create an application. Okay, they say we're there excited about it. I got the name for it here and we're ready to go. What I'm looking for is what's called an API key. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's see what that is. Okay, I'm going to bring it up here, but I'm going to have to block it out. So when you see um, fuzzy things across your screen, it's because I'm not allowed to show you my key. But this is what it's going to look like somewhat. Okay, there's an access key and a secret key. And what you're going to do is you're going to use this key into in the 90 Second Website Builder software. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to copy this access key. And let's go back to the software. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into... Uh, tools and options right under the general tab the very first one down here at the bottom look what we've got a special place just for your unsplash access key and by doing this again it's blurred out so nobody can steal it then you're good to go you click OK and now you have your own access key so that when you are using the unsplash feature you're gonna go through your own account you'll click that button and bring up the images you want to use. Boom, there they are, right away. So you can see the difference. When I was going without an access key, it was just not loading, it was taking a long time. And in fact, even before I turned on the video, it was giving me an error. So just by adding that access key, I got immediate access every time, which is cool. So now I just have a little smaller version of their website, so to speak. Within the software, I can still do a search, find the images I want to use, select the one I want to use, click on it, and add it to my website very, very easily. Now here's an additional thing you can do. Um, you don't have to just use the image tool. We've been taking the image tool and clicking on an existing image and using this little unsplash shortcut, but you don't have to do it that way. You can actually go to the insert menu up here, insert, and you'll see that there is an unsplash photo tool directly in the menu. So all you have to do is click on that and you'll get a cross beam and uh, draw a box. And what happens 
is the Unsplash database interface will pop up. It will populate with all the images. And by the way, these are just random images. I think every time you do it, you get a different set of images. But it doesn't matter because you can search for whatever you want and uh, get the image that you need to work with. So that's a couple different ways to do it. Use the uh, Unsplash tool in the insert or start with one of your own images and get to the Unsplash database. Just a really cool feature and 90 second website builder.